Midland shooting instructor Thomas Vanneman uses firearms like these for recreation. But south of the border, some of the same guns are used to kill, which is why the ATF is making gun shops in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and here in Texas submit paperwork when a customer purchases two or more rifles in a five-day period. It doesn't do any good. It's not going to stop the problem. Vanneman says that most guns used by Mexican drug cartels are from Central and South America and the Mexican Army. He also sees the regulation as an assault on civil rights. Now the government has the names and all the data that would be necessary to come up with you know, who owns what guns. It's a baby step, but it is nevertheless a step forward toward registration of guns. That's why most of us don't like it. Governor Rick Perry has echoed Vanneman's concerns, but at least one national organization disagrees. The cartels will recruit um, these straw buyers with clean criminal records who will go in and they will buy 5, 10, 20 or more of these uh, semi-automatic assault rifles. Anti-gun violence advocate Dennis Hennigan believes the regulation can help authorities. Uh, this reporting requirement will give uh, law enforcement real-time notice uh, when one of these uh, highly suspicious transactions takes place. But back in Midland, Vanneman is worried that the rules will lead to registration and a loss of rights for innocent American gun buyers. You know, we don't want this. We're doing what we can to stop it.